Hi everyone, Meiser here again. I thought uh, I will make a little how-to video because uh, I want I have to change uh, the crank uh, crankshaft sensor on my Calibra because there are sometimes uh, starting problems. I hope uh, that uh, works because uh, it doesn't give a crankshaft sensor error, but uh, I don't know what's the other problems. But uh, now I will uh, try to dismantle things uh, what are in front because uh, I haven't changed it before and uh, I hope you hear something because uh, there's a lawnmower in the background and I hope you hear it. But uh, now I'll start uh, dismantling and uh, let's hope uh, it's easy and uh, it solves the problem. I will try to remove the alternator cooling pipe to get uh, more access to it because the sensor is uh, under here and uh, I hope uh, I can get close to it. A little more access, but uh, now I have to sh make sure that I get the right sensor wire disconnected because it should be next to the oil filter. But uh, let's see. I thought uh, it was easier to take the sensor out, but uh, I brought some uh, cover from from inside. I lifted the car a little bit. And uh, now uh, I found the sensor. The sensor is uh, next to the oil filter. But uh, like uh, on Kekka Rosberg, it's uh, lower than it's harder to get, get close. <sighs> but uh, now I will uh, try to show you where the sensor is and uh, I will try to take it out. I hope you can see the sensor is there. That's the crankshaft sensor. It's dirty out uh, under here, but don't worry. Now I will try to take the sensor out and uh, disconnect it from the top. I got the sensor disconnected from under there. Now I have to disconnect it from up here. And it seems the crankshaft sensor socket is here. And uh, now I've, I will have to take the, I took the screwdriver and I will disconnect the socket. How does it come off? Ah, it's, it's switchable, sorry. Now, this is the crankshaft sensor. I will take the old sensor out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come through here. Like you see, that's the old uh, crankshaft sensor. A little bit oily, <laughs> but uh, I will just keep it, just in case maybe there wasn't a problem with this. I will clean this up and uh, keep it. But uh, right now, I will uh, put the new sensor back in. I will clean the engine bay a little bit because it's a little dirty in here. And uh, go on. It is time to install the new crank crankshaft sensor. I will uh, install the uh, downside before because uh, I don't want to how can I say, damage the sensor when uh, going down and uh, maybe it's hitting something or some... Oh, I don't want any problems. 
but uh, I will uh, connect this and uh, then I will uh, move the wire up and uh, let's hope the car starts. Now I got the sensor hooked up, now I will bring the wire up. Put it under here where it went before. Now the sensor is in place and uh, I will connect it and let's see, it clipped up okay and uh, now I will try to start it, I hope it works, so I'll just give it a little crank. It's been over Two weeks and uh, like you saw on the previous uh, attempt the sensor what I bought what was the cheaper one didn't work so I ordered a new one from Germany and uh, this one is a little different it's more expensive than the previous one and uh, this sensor has a cover for heat and uh, I hope uh, this sensor works because it was almost uh, 100 euros but uh, it should be the same code uh, what uh, right now is on I will change this and uh, let's hope uh, this helps uh, to get my baby back to working because uh, Friday, it's right now it's Sunday Friday my car didn't start at all and uh, I had to crank it up a lot of times but uh, when I tried to crank it up uh, Saturday just to started and uh, I could uh, drive here in the back of my apartment and uh, now I will try to change it and uh, I will lift up the car again because it's so low and uh, I won't get uh, close to the sensor got the old sensor out let's hope the new one works because uh, this is the uh, third time uh, when I tried to change it now it's uh, that's the fourth time I will get the new sensor and uh, I will install it and fingers crossed it will uh, work <laughs> now let's uh, put this uh, on and uh, let's hope everything works new sensor is on I will try to connect the socket and uh, let's hope everything works The socket is connected. I didn't uh, want to disassemble a lot of things here because uh, uh, when I started to take them all apart, uh, I found out that it's easy, easier to get bypass uh, just to remove the engine cover. But fingers crossed, let's hope my baby starts. The new sensor works! Yay! I didn't want to take this uh, all apart again, it was uh, 
before it was a hard job, but uh, now I know how to change the sensor in 10 minutes. I also wanted to point it out. If you are changing the crankshaft uh, sensor uh, when you are uh, pulling the wire uh, from uh, to the so no, to the socket, don't uh, move it uh, next to the ignition coil, and uh, because uh, the sensor uh, picks up the signal uh, from from the mag magnetic, and uh, when uh, the wire goes next to the ignition coil, it uh, gives the wrong wrong signal. And uh, after that, uh, the car won't run uh, very good. I had that problem and uh, I moved the wire between the alternator cooling uh, socket where the plastic holes. And uh, after that, uh, the problem was gone. I hope you guys uh, know how to take it all apart again. Also, <laughs> sorry for uh, my English. It's uh, not my mother language, so I'm trying to I uh, think the words uh, what I don't know but uh, at least uh, one job uh, on my baby is done and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video now it's uh, time to lower my baby down put uh, the cover back on and uh, go inside and uh, warm myself up because uh, right now outside it's quite windy if you like this content hit like hit subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell what is under here I will also add my Instagram here so you can follow me there uh, I will uh, put uh, different pictures there and for you see you soon on the next video bye